when I first saw this to everybody that's looking, um, and I saw that these gentlemen was presenting a presentation to me with a sanitary napkin, I, I almost laughed and I got up and almost walked out of the meeting. But thank, thank God that I'm an open guy and I stood and I watched what these guys showed me in terms of this demonstration. First thing I want you ladies to notice is how thin the pad is. That's very key um, that you guys see how thin it is. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a demonstration here of the power of this product and what we have and the new technology that's in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a beaker right here because we found out from our medical advisory board that the average female, when they're on their cycle, they give off anywhere from 15 to 50 milliliters throughout the day. Now we already know uh, some, some women are more, some are less because of the fact that they have a heavier flow than others. And I'm gonna pour it onto the pad right in front of everyone. And we know by now, a female probably would have changed by now. But one of the main issues, as I go back to the pad, that many of our wives, our daughters, our nieces, our grandchildren are dealing with is the fact that they're wet throughout the day. That plays a big part because your body by nature is 98.6 degrees, so your body's always running hot. And then when you take the fact of you have moisture, you have bacteria, you basically have a recipe for disaster now. So now these are, this is leading to things like urinary tract infections, yeast infections, and in some cases, even cervical cancer and ovarian cancer. Uh, we had a doctor that spoke at an event uh, that I did last night in Atlanta, uh, Dr. Tyrone Malloy. He's an OBGYN surgeon. And this man was just speaking on how uh, the, the chemicals and the sanitary napkins and tampons has been leading to damaging effects of these women. And that's why he's so excited to be partnering and collaborating with us on this joint effort because he'd been watching, especially our African American women be destroyed from what's being put into these sanitary napkins and tampons. Uh, we're gonna have four variations of the product. We're gonna have a day pad, a night pad, an overnight, and a, uh, a panty liner with the technology that you guys are about to see. Now, what I'm gonna do is I just pour 50 milliliters on the pad. I'm gonna take a red napkin because since we're on camera, so you guys would be able to see this. And I'm going to actually press on the napkin, put some pressure so you can see that pressure is being applied at the point 50 milliliters on the pad. And you ready for this? Nothing. We don't have a drop on the napkin at all. When I saw that, guys, I was blown away. I automatically knew a game changer because I knew I have a wife and three daughters um, that's at their, this phase in their lives. And I said to myself, if we can do something to keep women comfortable and dry during that time of month, you have a product that they're going to buy residually uh, for the next 30, 40 years of their lives as their cycles are happening. But I got more to show you before we wrap up. I'm going to take this cup of water here. I'm going to halfway fill it. Now keep in mind, I just took 50 milliliters of water and put it into the pad. But I'm gonna take the absorbency system that's inside the product here. As you ladies can tell, I've become a pet professional at tearing these pads apart now. And I'm gonna place it right here inside of the, of the pad, inside of, I'm sorry, the water right here right in front of our eyes. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to drop it in. The one thing that I want you guys to gather is this. I want you to see if you guys can really see that the exterior of our absorbency system, it has holes in it. That's by design. Also, the exterior of our absorbency system, it also has microfiber holes. Now the reason why it has these microfiber holes because we don't want the female's body taking the brunt 
of all the bacteria and everything. So we've created a system of ventilation. So it's constantly airflow throughout that process. If you look at a sanitary napkin right now that your daughter, your granddaughter, or even you may be using, if you look at it, the outer covering is like a trash bag. There is no ventilation, no breathability, which means that the woman's body suffers the brunt of everything that's being thrown at it. Now, I just poured 50 milliliters on the pad, right? I just took a cup that was halfway full and it's totally absorbed. Every drop of water, literally taking a liquid and we turned it to a gel. And if you guys were here right now with me, you would be able to touch it and see that it's also cool. The cooling effect is because we found out, Brother Barry, that while young ladies and women are on their cycles, their body is running hotter than normal. So now the absorbency system also has a cooling effect for their body. Now I want you to see this. Before I close, I just told you guys, for everybody that came late, the new strip that's going to be infused into our product is called graphene. The gentleman who discovered graphene won the Nobel Prize in 2010, the guy that won graphene. This right here is the graphene strip that's going to be infused into our new product. Guys, graphene is a 99.9% .9 bacteria killer. Bacteria and graphene can't coexist. Graphene helps women with hormone secretion their metabolism, it helps with fatigue, it helps relieve stress, it helps with skin and mem membrane repair. It has so many benefits, it's mind blowing. Right now the medical community is calling graphene the next medical revolution. But graphene, the main component of graphene, it contains what's called vibrational energy. It's always alive. You know, right now as you can see, I'm touching this and I'm not being electrocuted because immediately what everybody's about to see, they assume electricity. I'm going to take a seven watt light bulb. This is a low wattage light bulb, guys. Anywhere this light bulb senses energy, it would illuminate. It's not like a 40 watt or a 60 watt light bulb that would normally be in your house that you cut your lights on with. Here's our strip right here. But what I want you to see right here with graphene, this is what it does, the strip that's going to be infused inside our pads is going to change lives. Guys, I want you to hear what I'm telling you. We are currently right now, we're living in the future. Uh, I'm going to a summit that's gonna be taking place in Washington, DC. It's gonna be on May 21st and May 22nd. Senator Trent Lott is the keynote speaker. All the billion dollar investors, all the billion dollar corporations. Uh, right now, IBM, is leading the patents on graphene in the United States. There haven't been no one, basically I've ever asked, have you heard of graphene if they've heard of it outside of us introducing it to them. But I wanna say this guys, we are going now because we are going to explode this thing. We're going network and see, there may be graphene uh, uh, grants that they have for minority companies. There may be graphene uh, 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 grants for inve uh, veterans, I'm a veteran as well. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a minority veteran, so double whammy for them. So guys, what I'm saying and sharing is, we got a residual product that women are going to use. The last company that I co-founded with this similar technology, and my wife and I were investors in, we did $8 million in two years with a $5 product. Now, we've improved the product and taken it to another level because of the things we knew that was wrong with the first product to do what we're doing now for a 100% black owned company, we're about to change the world and we're gonna do it one woman at a time. So now on that note, I wanna open the floor for any questions, concerns, because that's it for the demonstration. The floor is for you, on you guys now. Anything you have. 